Um, my name is Elizabeth Stoker and I'm in grade 11. I'm Chelsea Quist and I'm in grade 11. I'm Sonia Lemberg and I am grade 11. Uh, so my name is Emily Guest and I'm in grade 10. So we're kind of brainstorming in leadership and we came up with the idea that we should send our principal to jail and then with that she should have to match whatever we come up with in order to get herself out of jail. We're a pretty small school here, I don't know if you know, but we have about 300 kids between grades 8 to 12, which is pretty small. And so we decided we wanted to raise 300 items as a school and then our principal would have to match that. So she actually doubled that plus a little bit more. She got, we got our 300 items and she got 680, I believe. So as a school, we raised almost a thousand items for Harvest House, which is really good. We end up serving about 125 cards, which represents about 350 people, and this is per week. So you can imagine the donations of cash and the donations of food are well used in the community. I personally like smaller schools because I'm a little bit, I have like a anxiety disorder so being in a smaller school helps me because there's not so many people there's not so many eyes looking at me I, I feel more comfortable in that place because I know everyone individually and there's like stronger bonds and there's more bonds in a way. I've gone to school with all of these kids since kindergarten yeah so I, I know everybody and it's kind of kind of cool watching everybody like grow up and people become more mature and more immature and and we don't really have those groups of people that are like the popular kids and then there's the geeks it's kind of um, kind of more integrated I mean everyone tries to stride for like the best marks and everyone accepts everybody so it's like really good I feel like in the larger schools you don't get the sense of community with all the teachers and staff, but here, like they're just an, just another person, they're your friends. And I really love hanging out with them. I love people, and I love kids, and I do think I try to be inclusive. My biggest worry is that someone's gone under the radar that you've missed, right? Because everyone needs to be cared for.